Hello, so I'm going to show you how to manage a simple alarm that repeats itself on a particular date every month. Uh, many of us uh, have a need to pay a rent or pay our credit card bills on a certain date every month. So this would be a great uh, way to not forget those. So I'm going to click on a new alarm and I'm going to click for myself and let's say this one happens to be for paying rent. So I'm going to type pay rent. And then I'm going to set it up for um, a time so that we can immediately see it ringing. So right now it's 1038. I'm going to set it up for 1040. Um, and then I am going to click on repeat so that I can repeat this every month, right? So I'm going to click monthly. So now it says monthly and you can see a new field came up for end date in case I want to do it only for a few months. Okay, so now I'll click on save. So you can see it says pay rent at 10.40 p.m. Um, and the um, repetition says monthly. So let's say now I'm in the middle of doing some other things. You know, I'm browsing. I am, you know, just out and about doing things. So we'll wait for the alarm to expire at 10.40. Um, in just a few seconds, it will expire, and then we will see um, what next course of action we need to do to repeat it for next month. So let's sit tight and wait for the alarm to expire. It should be happening any second now. There you go. So the alarm is ringing, and at this point, I could snooze if I'm in the middle of something else. If I've already paid, I could mark it done, or I can click on view. When I click on view, it shows me things that I can do. Again, I could skip this. Let's say somebody else took care of this thing for me. I could skip it, but let's say I mark it done. So you notice how um, pay rent is uh, for 4th January and 10.40 p.m. If I mark it done, immediately in my alarm, alarm listing, the alarm will move to February 4th instead of, uh, you know, January 4th, which was already done. And when I drill into the alarm, you can see there is this field called alarm history. You can click on the details of alarm history and that will show you what time uh, the, the alarm was marked complete for the previous occurrences of the same alarm. So that's how very easily you can create an alarm that can repeat on a given date every month. So you can always be on top of your milestones and deadlines. Hopefully, um, you, you've learned how easy it is to create it. And if you have any questions or feedback, please go to the settings um, and click on feedback so you can reach out to us. Happy alarming. Thank you.